So in the last video, this is part of a series, be sure to check out the link in the description for the full playlist. Um, we looked at how to put processes in the background, such as top or whatever program is currently running by pressing control C or control Z and suspending it in the background. Now, let's say you want to you know throw a process in the background to have it keep running, uh, but continue with another command. Uh, you can do that uh, by typing out. Let's do this as an example. I'll say sleep one. I'll say sleep five for five seconds and echo hello. So it should, if we were to do it this way with a semicolon, which indicates a new command, it's going to wait five seconds. And then after five seconds, it's going to echo out hello. I almost said hello world, just hello in this case. But if we do the ampersand, the and symbol, it's going to right away throw the sleep command into the background and then it's going to echo hello without waiting for the sleep command and then after five seconds the sleep command finished as you can see. Uh, so we can also do this a, a few different ways so I can say um, run this command and this command So what it did was start up sleep for five seconds, threw that in the background, echoed out hello, threw that in the background, but then it completed and displayed it. And then it started this at the same time and completed it. And then five seconds was up and the sleep command finished running. Um, this can be very useful if you want to have a shell script that's doing multiple things at once. Uh, you can continue running processes in that aspect. And again, it still does give you the foreground number, which you should be able to uh, pull to the foreground. Um, let me see something here. Let me just say one minute here, foreground one. Yeah. So again, as I said in the previous video, I'm having issues with my Z shell setup. But in Bash, if I was to run the same command, I'll highlight that and paste it in by center clicking. I should be able to foreground one and it brings me back to my sleep command. That's how the foreground command, the FG command, is supposed to work. So, as always, I thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoy this video, be sure to like, subscribe, share, comment, let me know what you think. I'm trying to get through these uh, basic things that a lot of you may know in these first couple of weeks so we can get some more fun things. I thank you for watching. As always, I hope that you have a great day.